Welcome to the amazing world of ships. We will now move briefly into the classifications of ships and other vessels. We have divided this series into three segments, merchant, defense, and special purpose vessels. In our first segment, we'll be covering merchant vessels. A merchant vessel is a ship that is used for transporting cargo and passengers during peacetime. These merchant vessels are classified into cargo ships and passenger ships. A cargo ship or freighter is any sort of ship or vessel that carries cargo, goods and materials from one port to another. Thousands of cargo carriers ply the world's seas and oceans each year, handling the bulk of international trade. The cargo they carry are innumerable and range from spices, grains, chemicals, minerals, fertilizers, animals, machines to food, flowers and vegetables. Let's now see the different types of vessels used for cargo carrying. Bulk Carriers Bulk carriers are ocean-going vessels used to transport unpackaged cargo items in bulk such as iron ore, bauxite, coal, cement, grain and so on in their cargo holds. Today, bulkers make up 40% of the world's merchant fleets and range in size from single hold mini bulkers to mammoth ore ships able to carry 365,000 metric tons of dead weight. General Cargo Ships A general cargo ship is a type of ship or vessel that carries cargo, goods and materials from one port to another in packages. The cargo is packed in cartons, sacks or any other type of packaging and loaded in these ships. Cargo ships are usually specially designed for the task, often being equipped with cranes and other mechanisms to load and unload and they come in all sizes. Chemical tankers. Chemical tankers is a type of tanker designed to transport chemicals in bulk. Chemical tankers normally have a series of separate cargo tanks which are coated with specialized coatings. The coating determines what type of cargo a particular tank can carry. Oil tankers. An oil tanker, also known as a petroleum tanker, is a ship designed for the bulk transport of oil. There are two basic types of oil tankers, the crude tanker and the product tanker. The crude tankers move large quantities of unrefined crude oil from its point of extraction to refineries. Product tankers, generally much smaller, are designed to move petrochemicals from refineries to points near consuming markets. LNG Carriers An LNG carrier is a ship designed for transporting liquefied natural gas. As the LNG market grows rapidly, the fleet of LNG carriers continues to experience tremendous growth. Container ships. Container ships are a latest development in ship technology. They are cargo ships that carry goods stacked in huge standard truck size containers. The technology is known as containerization in shipping parallels. Today, these ships form a common means of commercial intermodal freight transport. Container ships are designed 
so that no space is wasted. Capacity is measured in 20 foot equivalent unit TEU. The number of standard 20 foot containers measuring 20 by 8 by 8 feet the vessel can carry. Roll on roll off ships. Roll on roll off ships are also known as row row ships. Are ferries designed to carry wheeled cargoes such as automobiles, trucks, semi trailer trucks, trailers, or railroad cars. Row row vessel have built in ramps which allow the cargo to be efficiently rolled on and rolled off the vessel in port. The term Roro is generally reserved for larger ocean going vessels. Ferries A ferry is a means of transport, usually a boat or a ship, but also other forms carrying or ferrying passengers and often their vehicles across a body of water. Ferries are also used to transport freight. Most ferries operate on a regular frequent return services. A food passenger ferry with many stops is sometimes called a water bus or a water taxi. Ferries form a part of public transport systems of many waterside cities and islands, allowing direct transit between points at a capital cost much lower than bridges or tunnels. Cruise ship A cruise ship or a cruise liner is a passenger ship used for pleasure voyages where the voyage itself and the ship's amenities are part of the experience. Cruising has become a major part of tourism industry with millions of passengers each year. The industry's rapid growth has seen nine or more newly built ships catering to a North American clientele added every year since 2001. Cruise ships differ from ocean liners as they travel short distances. Ocean liners An ocean liner is usually a ship designed to transport people from one seaport to another along regular long distance maritime routes according to a schedule. Ocean liners are usually strongly built with a high freeboard to withstand rough seas and adverse conditions encountered in an open ocean. Having large capacities for fuel, victuals and other stores for consumptions on long voyages. The busiest route for liners is on the North Atlantic with ships traveling between Europe and North America. Yachts A yacht is a recreational boat. It designates two rather different classes of watercraft, sailing and power yacht. Yachts are differentiated from working ships mainly by their leisure purpose. Since the level of luxury on larger yachts has seen an increasing trend, the use of word yacht to mean any sailing vessel has been diminishing and is more and more limited to racing yachts or cruising yachts. <laughs>